guys, welcome back to my channel. I am in my project outfit, which you know what that means. I have like a million projects that I have planned. My personality is totally like zero to 100 as far as being inspired. And I recently, like three days ago, got inspired to do like 100, not even kidding you, 100 different projects around here. So I'm trying to pull myself back a little bit and just get one done at a time. And I usually rely on my husband to help like pull me back a little bit when I get super inspired and gung ho. But he was like all about all the projects I wanted to do. So I was like, well, if you're on board with all of these, we might as well ship lap our wall too. So yesterday we went out and bought all the stuff to ship lap our entryway wall, which I will be recording. And I'm a little nervous because neither of us are good with like woodwork stuff. I'm very creative and comfortable with doing a lot of home projects, but when it comes to like having to use a saw and measure things, eh, that's kind of where my creative abilities go down. And my husband's not that handy either. Sorry, babe, but it's true. So <laughs> we will see how the shiplap wall goes. But um, yeah, we got all the stuff for that. We may start tonight. We're looking for a nail gun, but let me show you what projects I have planned to get done today. So I went to Lowe's. This is Valspar and the shade is Thunderstorm and I got it in satin, and we are gonna be painting this pantry door. I love white, you guys know that. I love to have all of my rooms and walls just very like bright and airy. It makes me feel very happy, but I do think um, all of the white could make a space seem unfinished, especially if it's just like a bunch of white walls and white doors and white trim. Literally all of the paint in my home is the exact same shade of white. So what I plan on doing is starting with this pantry door and painting it a darker, still neutral shade. So we'll see how it looks. I mean, I'm pretty excited about it. And I also want to paint our railings, and then this is the wall that we are going to be shiplapping, and I do plan on having that be a different shade of white than the trim. I'm also gonna be painting these doors the same shade as the pantry door. I don't wanna to get too crazy and have it look like a rainbow in here if I do all different colors. And then the front door, I'm gonna have painted the same color black, which is on the outside, and I think that'll look really cute. Also, I have one more project that I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna try to fit that in today, but I wanna get the painting started first because Hunter is napping. Today, Miles is with his grandparents, so that is the only reason I am even able to paint at all during the day. And then I also picked up stuff to make this recipe I made one time. It's a um, French onion chicken, I don't know what to call it. It's like a French onion chicken recipe and it was delicious and I've always wanted to make it and today was kind of like a chilly, windy day. So I figured it would be delicious for today and I'll show you how I make that. So let me show you the next project that I plan on doing today. I'm like really loading things up, I feel like. Um, and then we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is my kitchen, obviously, and I'm playing around with some decor. This sign I love. I wanna actually hang it up, but I just kind of set it here for now but more about that stuff later in a different video. For now, what I'm focusing on is this little thing that I really like the concept of for my kitchen here, especially with this sign, which um, has a lot of like garden herbs and all of that stuff. I thought it would look really cool to have like an actual herb garden or not garden, you know, just have some herbs here next to this sign and next to my stove. It would be useful and also look really cool, but I am not loving these terracotta pots. I tried to just whitewash them with chalk paint and I mean, eh. I really want them to look aged, especially next to this vintage scale that I just found over the weekend, which I am obsessed with. I love scales, pressure gauges, like old clocks, things like that. I just love the vibe they add to a space and I just think that these terracotta pots, the way that I have them painted are not really they're just not what I was going for. So I found this tutorial of how to make them look more aged. So I'm gonna be doing that today as well. And after they dry and all of that stuff, I figured tomorrow when I have Miles, he can help me pick out some herbs and we can plant them and I can have a little like herb 
station right here next to my stove. So I will also be showing you guys how I plan to age these pots in today's video as well. So let's get started. I don't want to feel this way, but it's not that easy You're complicating things for me, no it's not that easy Maybe just a little time can heal me, but it doesn't feel the way What are you doing to me? Why'd you break my heart? Left me in the dark, dark Why'd you have to go? Okay, so it's still wet, but I really like it. What do you guys think? I'll kind of show a whole like aerial view. Sorry for the messy counters. I think it plays off the granite really well, and it's a little shiny right now just because it is still wet, but once it dries matte, I think it'll be really good, and it's definitely the color that I had in mind. I don't know if you can see back there, but the brick wall um, it definitely plays off of that color as well. So I'm anxious to see what it looks like when it's dry, but I do really like it. It's always weird though when you see um, just a big change of paint color. Just adding color to white is always a little shocking to me, but I think it's a good change and it's something I wanted to do for a while and I'm happy that I finally did it. So I will report back in a couple hours when it's dry and then I'll kind of have to assess and see if it needs a second coat. The paint I got is supposed to only be one coat and I'm just painting over white. So I'm hoping I don't, but we will see. All right, project of the day number two. I have everything laid out here. I'm just gonna start with two of the terracotta pots just to see how it turns out. I have an old paintbrush. I'm using um, just a paper plate so I can throw it away. I added some water to it, and then this is the garden lime that I'm going to be adding and mixing in here. So apparently this stuff is supposed to dissolve, which it is, and I think I'm gonna need a little bit more, but I don't know. I think I will, but I just wanna let all these pellets kinda dissolve before I decide. I'm gonna put um, something under this plate just in case it leaks through. I don't know what lime would do to my granite, but I do not wanna find out. All right, so it's getting thicker. I'm gonna add a little more. It's not easy. I'm just a for you. Okay, so it's still really gravelly. And there's still like kind of areas where it's super runny and then really gravelly. Um, is gravelly a word? You guys know what I mean. Um, so I'm just gonna let it dissolve a little bit. The tutorial I read, she said that these pellets are supposed to dissolve in water. So I want it to just get a little more, I don't know. I don't like this runny part. I want it to kind of go on thick, but I don't want these little pebbles to be on there. So I'm just gonna keep stirring and see what happens okay first impressions of this lime stuff is that it smells horrible and I've been sitting here mixing it and messing around with it and the gravelly part is starting to dissolve so it's a little thicker it's kind of like a medium consistency I'm gonna try that and then I may end up adding a little bit more because it seems like it could still be runny but I'm just gonna get started and apply it to my terracotta pots the big one is from Hobby Lobby and I think that was a right around $1.99 but the small ones I always buy at the Dollar Tree they come in like a three pack then there's ones that are a little bit larger that come in a two pack but for only a dollar I figure these are good ones to kind of experiment with and hopefully this turns out the way that I'm picturing what have I done <laughs> um yeah so I don't really know what to think right now um I don't think that little pebbly thing is supposed to be there um I'm gonna try to thicken this up a little bit and we're just gonna keep messing around with this. But right now, 
Um, not loving it. All right, so I took a little break and it definitely gets way thicker um, as the pellets dissolve. So I'm gonna add some more water to kind of loosen it up. But I did take some of this like somewhat loose clumpy part and I added it just to kind of give different areas on the pot some different like texture, oops, some different texture. Um, and I actually really like it now that it's dried. And I'm not gonna be putting a lot on the inside. I might just do like this upper lip because I don't know if it's gonna be good if I keep actual herbs in here with this. And now I'm gonna do this big guy and I'll show you what it looks like at the end since you probably don't wanna watch this process all over again. And just note to self, if you do this, it really, really smells. All right guys, I am back. It's quite a bit later. Hunter woke up. I played with her, fed her, and I got her back down for a nap. And then I ended up putting a second coat of paint on the pantry doors and I finished up the rest of the pots that I wanted to add the lime to. So while both of those dry, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the dinner recipe. One of my favorite things about this one is that you can prep the onions ahead of time. And I love recipes that you can like pre-prep things because it just saves me a lot of time. And I actually do have the recipe for this one, so I'll leave that link down below. It's also saved to my Pinterest, so if you want to follow me over there, I save a ton of like recipes and stuff on my Pinterest, so I'll leave that down below in the description as well. So we're just going to get started on the onions, and then when I'm ready to make the actual dinner itself, all I have to do is make the chicken, so it'll be a lot faster. And for all of my other true crime lovers i am listening while i'm doing all of this to the dateline nbc podcast and i just listened to a couple i need to get my phone fixed look at that crack that is just ridiculous but um i just listened to the golden child that was pretty interesting um i'm gonna just pick a random one we'll do this one i love a good mystery take the onions off now I'm just gonna add some salt and pepper and a little bit of uh, thyme here and once I do that I'm just gonna set this aside and let it cool and um, I also went ahead and butterflied my chicken breasts and seasoned them with salt and pepper so I'll wrap these up and then when I'm ready to make dinner I can saute them and follow the rest of the recipe but it's four o'clock now, so I was able to give myself a little bit of time so I didn't have to do all of these steps all at once. So I'm all about that. All right, so here's what the door looks like, pretty much dry. I really like the color, I'm happy with it. I got it in a satin sheen, so there will be a little bit of shine to it, but um, as much as I love the matte look for a pantry door, I'm obviously going to need to wipe it clean, but I also think the color is just going to be a lot more forgiving than the bright white was, and it didn't take me that long to do. I kind of wish I had done that sooner. I had just been putting it off for a long time, and now I'm wondering if I should start on these two doors out here painting those. This is our bathroom door here and then our garage door there, which again, just show all sorts of wear and tear. So I really don't want them to be white and also just to break up this big wall. But this is the wall that we're also going to be ship lapping. So I think maybe I should wait and paint them afterwards just in case, you know, they get like hit and chipped and, you know, like dinged up in the process. And here are the progress with these guys. They're not exactly dry yet, especially because I um, really globbed it on thick in certain spots, but obviously where it's lighter, it's dry, and where it's dark, it's still a little wet. But um, I think it looks so much better. This is the one um, that was just a terracotta pot that I tried to whitewash, and I think it looks terrible, to be frank. So this is the before, and then this is the almost done after. I'm still not sure if I wanna go back in and um, add some like distressing and paint to it like the tutorial did. I'm kind of happy with it, just how it is. I think it looks so 
much better and just more realistic and like it's an actual worn aged pot which is exactly what i was going for so i'm just gonna wait for these to dry and then decide what i'm gonna do but i will show you guys what that looks like and then tomorrow i'm gonna have miles help me plant some herbs and set them back up on here and i will show how that looks in my spring decorate with me spring house tour decor thing i'm not sure what i'm gonna call it yet but make sure you're subscribed for that and yeah, I'm gonna show you all the decor I picked up because I found so many good things for spring. Hi, sweet girl. Are you gonna talk to me? Are her cheeks not getting so much chunkier? I am obsessed. Um, she just woke up from her afternoon nap it's right around five o'clock so miles will be home any minute and then hopefully my husband won't be working too late tonight and then what are you saying she's so much more vocal these days it's so adorable but anyway so hopefully i'll be able to start um finishing up or starting dinner i'm so excited for this i had it once like when we first moved into our house so that was like what six months ago and it was delicious so I cannot wait to have it and hopefully you guys try it because it's so good if you're into like French onion soup it's a good um, meal and a lot of it you can do in the same pan which I am all about those recipes and um, my pots still look a little wet where I really globbed it on so I might have to wait for them to finish drying for tomorrow um, so she's getting a little antsy so i'm gonna go pick her up now are you antsy what are you doing are you busy say pay attention to me mom pay attention to me so my pots may need to wait until tomorrow for me to show you how they turn out so i'll definitely be updating this on instagram too so if you're not following me i'll leave my handle here but um yeah i'll be back So now I'm just going to be adding two cups of beef broth into the same pan that I browned the chicken and I just set the chicken aside for now. And I went ahead and added the onions that we cooked earlier in here. There's some thyme and it already smells delicious. I also added just a little bit of flour. The recipe said you could add flour or cornstarch just to thicken this up a bit. So I'm just going to wait till it heats up and usually um, it'll start thickening up at that point as well. And then we'll go ahead and add the chicken back into the pan, cover it with cheese. And then I'm gonna preheat my oven to 400 degrees. So this is what the door looks like in um, this time of day with the lights on. The sun's pretty much down or it's going down at this point. So it's always interesting to see what paint looks like at different times of day. Um, it's kind of giving off a little bit of a green vibe, which I don't know, I'm definitely sensing I can definitely see some more green undertones now that I couldn't necessarily see during the day with all the natural light, but I don't know. I wish you guys could smell how delicious this smells already. You should totally try it if you like French onion soup. I cannot wait until this is done to eat. I just transferred the chicken in with the onions and the broth and now I'm gonna top it with cheese. So I decided to do Swiss and provolone, but the recipe I believe said you could use mozzarella as well, but I'm just gonna use these two. So I think I'm going to get a little bit of this juice out and save it for after because I really don't wanna clean all of this overflow juice out of my oven. Change your mind about us. I thought that we were meant to be. Why'd you break my heart? Left me in the dark. Why'd you have to? Okay, so they're still a little wet in places where it's dark, but I just wanted to put them back on here to show you the 
kind of effect and look that I'm going for. I still don't know if I want to go back in and add any more distressing or anything, but I love them so much. This is way closer to the look that I was going for. This is what the ones looked like before I did the lime on there and I just love that kind of old and distressed look that it gave them. I'm really hoping that this is both cute and useful, but we'll see. I don't know if the lime is gonna be too much for the herbs or how all that works. I'm not a very good gardener, but I think the idea is really cute if I can make it work. All right, so here is dinner. It looks so good. I just served it with some rice and I am so hungry right now. I can't wait to eat. This is what I did for Miles. He's eating this. Um, he doesn't always eat what we eat, but he tried some and said it was good. Yeah, you have strawberries, rice, and then I think why he likes this is because there's cheese on it. But we are gonna go ahead and eat this now. Doesn't it look yummy? Yeah. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video here. I know it was kind of all over the place, but I hope you enjoyed it. I love videos like this, and I just love seeing what other people do and getting inspired. So there's a lot more projects to come. So make sure you are subscribed and hit the thumbs up button if you like this, and stay tuned for the ship lab tutorial and all of the other projects that I have coming up on my channel, and also my spring decor and tour. My channel too. And Miles's channel, he doesn't have a channel. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.